According to a recent report from the South China Morning Post on June 2, General Li Shangfu, China's defense chief, conveyed to his Singaporean counterpart that the People's Liberation Army PLA, would not renounce the use of force on Taiwan. Experts believe that this statement serves as a warning not only to Washington but also to regional powers and European countries. During a meeting on June 1 with Singapore's defense chief Ying Yenji Hen, General Li Shangfu emphasized that Beijing would not tolerate Taiwan's Democratic Progressive Party seeking support from other countries for Taiwanese independence. Chinese Defense Ministry spokesman Senior Colonel Tan Kefei confirmed this information. It's important to note that most countries, including the US, do not officially recognize Taiwan as an independent state. However, Washington opposes any attempt to alter the status quo through force. Andrew Yang Niandu, a former Taiwanese defense minister and guest at the Shangri-La Dialogue, commented that this stern warning, issued just before the security summit in Singapore, is directed not only at European countries, Japan, and Australia, but also at the United States. Yang added that it is notable for the PLA to specifically mention Taiwan's ruling party, the Democratic Progressive Party, when cautioning Western countries. This sends a strong message to all Taiwanese political parties to avoid following the steps of the DPP. However, Yang also noted that such warnings no longer deeply concern the Taiwanese public, as they have become accustomed to such rhetoric from both China and the Taipei authorities. Over the past few months, there have been several instances of Chinese military intimidation operations directed toward Taiwan, which have heightened tensions in the region and raised concerns among the international community. These actions aim to reinforce China's long-standing claim of sovereignty over the island. One notable form of intimidation has been air intrusions by China's People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAAF, into Taiwan's Air Defense Identification Zone ADIZ. The PLAAF has frequently flown military aircraft close to or even across the median line of the Taiwan Strait, which has traditionally served as an unofficial boundary between the two sides. These incursions have increased in frequency and scale, leading Taiwan to scramble its own fighter jets in response. In addition to air intrusions, the Chinese Navy has conducted large-scale military exercises near Taiwan. These exercises involve aircraft carriers, warships, and submarines serving as displays of China's military power and its readiness to defend its territorial claims. The intent behind these naval exercises is to demonstrate China's ability to project force in the region. China has also engaged in information warfare against Taiwan, employing tactics such as disinformation campaigns, cyber attacks, and psychological operations. These efforts seek to influence public opinion, undermine Taiwan's government, and gain access to sensitive information. China has been accused of spreading false narratives and conducting cyber intrusions as part of its information warfare strategy. Furthermore, China continues to exert diplomatic pressure to isolate Taiwan internationally. It seeks to limit Taiwan's participation in global forums, including organizations like the World Health Organization WHO, and pressures countries to sever official ties with Taipei in favor of recognizing Beijing. This diplomatic isolation is aimed at marginalizing Taiwan and diminishing its international standing. The international community closely monitors these developments, recognizing that any escalation in tensions could have significant regional and global implications. The ongoing military intimidation operations by China against Taiwan underscore the complex dynamics and the potential for conflict in the region.